Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to calculate the income elasticity of demand using the midpoint method. The income elasticity of demand measures a percentage change in quantity demanded of a good from a percentage change in income. Here is the basic formula. We got the change in quantity divided by the average quantity and that is all going to be divided by the change in income divided by the average income. Let's do an example. The quantity demanded of lobster increases from 1,100 to 1,300 pounds from an increase in income from 40,000 to 50,000. What is the income elasticity of demand? So we're going to use that formula. So the change in Q is just the increase in the quantity consumed. So 1,300 minus 1,100, we got a 200 unit increase in the quantity demanded of lobster. And then we're going to divide that by the average quantity, or the midpoint. So the average of 1,300 and 1,100 is just 1,200. The change in income, so income increases by 10,000. 50,000 minus 40,000. And then the average income, or the midpoint between 50,000 and 40,000, is 45,000. So 200 divided by 1,200 is 0 0.1666. And 10,000 divided by 45,000 is 0 0.222. And this will simplify down to 0 0.75 for income elasticity of demand for lobster. This is a normal good. The income elasticity is positive for a normal good. Both variables are moving in the same direction. So income goes up, people buy more. That is a normal good. To interpret this coefficient, a 1% increase in income increases the quantity demanded of lobster by 0.75%. Let's do a second example. Here the quantity demanded of good X decreases from 1550 to 1450 from an increase in income from 8000 to 12000 So here we have an increase in income, but people are actually buying less of this good. So this will be an inferior good. So what is the income elasticity of demand for good X? So the change in quantity here is negative. So the quantity demanded falls by 100 units, 1450 minus 1550. And the midpoint of those two values is 1500. As for income, income goes up by 4,000 units, 12,000 minus 8,000, $4,000 increase in income, divided by the average income, and doing the final math here, 100 divided by 1500, or minus 100 divided by 1500 is minus 0 0.0667. And in the denominator here, 4000 divided by 10,000 is 0.4. And this will simplify to minus 0 0.17. So we have an inferior good, a negative coefficient. Income elasticity is negative with an inferior good. The variables are moving in the opposite direction. Income goes up. The quantity demanded falls. And for an interpretation, a 1% increase in income decreases quantity demanded by 0.17%. Okay, that's it.